All right, we're Damn Tall Buildings. Uh, we're based out of Boston, and we're uh, happy to play at the Red Room tonight. Well, December 7th, 2014, I cut my finger on a can, and uh, then we haven't been able to play since then. So uh, the past month we've been getting ready for the spring season because we haven't been able to perform in a while due to my injury. Don't cook chili. <laughs> I personally ate an entire sleeve of Big Newtons last night, <laughs> and that's what my month has been. I just needed to get that off my chest. Uh, we're about to do a record in, uh, in April. Uh, to record that record in April and release in August and we're touring in August so right now we're kind of getting ready for that stuff we toured last summer into uh, December when I cut my finger we toured pretty much non-stop Stop, like yeah. four days a week um, so we're kind of on a little bit of a vacation but right today's uh, our first gig in two months so this is the nice. this is the takeoff and we're happy to be playing with our good friends Nemes and Nemes Nemes in Western Town <laughs> Yeah, I got it for all of us. This is an easy, easy answer. Miley Cyrus. Yep. <laughs> That's not even a question. <laughs> I don't think it's a question. I Mozart. He's already dead, so Mo that would sell Mozart. Out Mozart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess that. <laughs> Tactics. Yeah. No, yeah, Miley Cyrus. Big. <laughs> I mean, 2025. 2025. Yeah. The future. Oh. I like that. <laughs> yeah, the future. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hopefully, yeah, uh, hopefully people will be listening to our music by then. 2025. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, Gorilla Roots is our own made-up genre, comes from the land of make-believe, yes, same place where Mr. Rogers resides, <laughs> um, and it's kind of a culmination of multiple Roots styles. Uh, we all come from bif different backgrounds, all Roots music. We have blues and R&B and classical and 
bluegrass, old time, all sorts of genres that people don't listen to anymore. <laughs> um, so we decided that it, it would be best to sort of combine all of those into one unique style um, in the hopes to make it relevant for a modern audience. And he really just texted us one day. I was personally in the shower. Um, and I have a waterproof iPhone case, and he texted me and just said Gorilla Roots, and then I said yes, and then he said yes, and then she said yes, and that's... Thank God for that case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, most people want to jump and call us bluegrass because we have the bluegrass instrumentation, but um, we don't play really bluegrass or traditional... Blue we Sometimes we'll play traditional bluegrass songs, but our style is definitely like... it. I wouldn't call it bluegrass. Not traditional. Not yeah, traditional yeah. bluegrass, no. no. Um, you don't really find traditional bluegrass coming from an urban setting. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all rural music, but it's been adapted for, I'd say, pretty much all of us are city folk. Yeah, I've yeah. got nothing to do, I say, hey, honey, let me be your softy dog. I just made up that verse on accident. <laughs> A combination of uh, John Hartford has a song called In Tall Buildings, and then you brought in Joy Kill Sorrow. Um, uh, they have a lyric. They have a lyric. Oh, well, it's a song called Damn Tall Buildings. So oh, we kind no, of no, no, it's a no, lyric. It's a lyric. No, it's a lyric. Yeah. I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buildings. You can find us at damntallbuildings.com or on Facebook at facebook.com slash damntallbuildings or on Twitter at damntalltweets and on Instagram at damntallbuildingsgram. How about that?